Prostate cancer is the most common form of cancer in men. Approximately 80% of men above the age of 70 have prostate cancer. Many men live an entire life without any knowledge of its presence. The prostate gland is located in front of the rectum and below the bladder. The upper part of the urethra passes through the prostate. Here we see normal urination. The main function of the prostate is to produce a secretion. This secretion forms a part of the seminal fluid and is essential to the survival and mobility of the sperm. During sexual stimulation, the prostate and seminal vesicles produce secretions. The urethra contracts at the bladder and the corpus cavernosa of the penis swells. Simultaneously, sperm is produced in the testicles and gathers in the epididymis where it is matured. From here, the sperm is transported to the prostate via the vas deferens, through the seminal vesicle, and into the prostate gland. The sperm and prostatic secretions compound before they are ejaculated. Prostate-specific antigen, also known as PSA, is produced in the prostate. Both benign and malignant growth of the prostate can exert pressure on and destroy the glandular tissue. This can lead to an increased leakage of PSA into the bloodstream. A high PSA value in the blood is currently the most common indicator of prostate cancer. Most tumours begin to form in proximity to the outer surfaces of the prostate gland. In most instances, the tumour is slow growing and symptom free and will remain confined within the prostate gland. Some tumours can grow to a volume where they begin to obstruct urination. Other tumours can grow in a way that exposes them to palpation via the rectum. Aggressive tumours can eventually breach the capsule and infiltrate nearby organs. As with all living tissues in the body, cancer also needs a supply of blood to survive. If tumour cells separate and enter the bloodstream, prostate cancer may spread to other parts of the body.